Well, we're here at the Flying Can Ranch. Uh, <laughs> this is my second take on this. I went out and raked a bunch of leaves, and I ain't doing so well. So let me uh, set this back down, and we're going to try it again. Oh. I'm going to go for that pickle bottle first. Diner Chaser, 22 caliber. There you go, right there. So, sights are kind of tricky. I got to do a little more work with that, but it's all good. So we'll scoot this down a little bit. I must have caught that pickle bottle right on the top or somewhere. No, I got a hole in it. Right about there where my finger is. I think I scraped it down the side more than I did anything. Nice, good, nice, good chop right there. Uh, that's odd that it didn't come out the other side. That's a little stiffer can. Uh, this guy here, I got him a couple times. I'm just in a seated position. I'm not on a bench or nothing. Come out pretty good. The other one, I guess it took off. Well, there it is. Let's go find him real quick. Come on out here. That was, uh, caught that one real low. I aimed that one at a little lower. So even at this temperature, she'll she'll kick it out. So hold me under back over here for a spell. Yeah, I've been trying to get these leaves to burn. The leaves in the front yard raked up. Roughing old man my age. <laughs> so hit it right. Uh you know, I'm back, I'm back here, I mean, it's about, you know, 45 feet back, and, uh, and I, you know, there it is, chopped away with it, hit him pretty good, like I said, these sides has got a screw on each side, so if you want to go right, you got to pull this right screw out a little bit, and then tighten in with that left screw right there, and that's how you, you know, or vice versa, and I had to move them over, uh, quite a ways from the center area 
to make it you know zoom up pretty good and get to where I could just uh, sit down here you know and just put that up against my knee like well you ain't gonna see it anyway like so and just have at it so but um, all in all so far I like it I wish I wish you could have got the uh, the suppressor off the long barrel and I haven't you know again I haven't put the long barrel on and uh, that'll probably be a video for tomorrow I want to get it lined up and uh, try some things and and see what we get with it so uh, and then we'll probably come out tomorrow and we'll do a run with it I I got this pressure I think it's back together as far as I'm going to get it and, and then we'll see what happens so uh, we'll get the rifle stock on it and give it a good run and and uh, see if we can get some accuracy out of it now I want to note that if you're going to put the rifle barrel on it I've been looking at the instructions you're going to have to get this rear sight off because it comes with a side of its own. So I'll tow all this back in the house. I'll get everything lined up later. Uh, hopefully I'll get that swapped out tonight. So it'll give me some time to play with it. See what we're getting into. And you saw it, it hit. It hit pretty good from this distance. I think you could drop some game with it. Just in the pistol form. So uh, we'll get it together. Give you a shot tomorrow. And thanks for watching, and that's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. Yeah, I got a lot of pellets piled up in here. I got to dump some more in it, so we'll talk to you later. Bye.